ever feel like it's too late for you, that you missed the bus for your career, you missed it for your love life, you missed it concerning your children or your faith or your ministry or things you're supposed to do for God and for the kingdom of God. And when you look at your life, you think, oh my God, there's so much more to be done and so little time. Let's talk about that today. One of the things we all confront as we grow older is the feeling, oh my goodness, there's so much more I want to do for God, but there's so little time. Is this too late for me? Could it be that God is giving me a sign that I was never meant to be or to do these things? Should I forget about them and just settle? Should I consider that a lost and a dead dream? I want to encourage you today if you're in that situation. God says in his word, I will restore to you the years, the years that the locusts have eaten, the years that the canker worms have eaten, and the years that all all these kinds of worms have eaten. God is in the business of restoring time so that even when you feel you have lost time, he's able to speed up things for you. He's able to bring up destiny helpers. He's able to direct you that you make up for it. If you will just ask him and say, Father, help me. I really sense you put this in my heart to do in my life. Please forgive me for every time I've missed your leading or I've missed your unction or I've made a wrong decision. I want to do this. I desire to do this. Help me and make up for me the time I have lost. God is merciful. God is faithful. He will help you. God says pursue. If it's in your heart, it's keeping you awake. You can't ever lose that dream. You know the Holy Spirit is pushing you towards it. Then pursue. Get out and do it. What do you need to do? What do you need to write? Who do you need to call? What do you need to learn? What class do you need to go back to? Get up and do something. Pursue it. And God says if you pursue it, I will help you. You will overtake and you will recover all. God is in the business of recovery. He's excited when you recover even the years that you have lost. When we were younger, these things may have seemed so guaranteed. I'm sure I'm gonna do this. I'm gifted in this area. I'm bright in this area. I'm so favored and exceptional in this area. I'm definitely going to achieve this and that by the time I am 20 or in my 30s and my 40s. And suddenly you find yourself beyond that age and it's not so guaranteed anymore because the window passed and it still has not happened. What do you do at such a time as that? Let me use Moses as an example to encourage you. Moses lived to be 120 years. The first 40 years were spent in the palace. He grew up as a prince. The next 40 years were spent in the back sides of nowhere where he was shepherding, where he ran away and he went and where he met his wife. But he was just a shepherd from a prince to a shepherd. This is a place in life where you're a husband, uh, you're forgotten, your phone is no longer ringing, you're no longer the standard or the SI unit for success. <laughs> it's not your story being told anymore. People have found new heroes and moved on from you and it looks like the glory has departed. And this is what happened to Moses, that place in the backsides of nowhere. But then from when he was 80, the last 40 years of his life to when he was 120, he has this amazing encounter with God and he does the most important assignment of his life in the latter years of his life. His life was divided into three equal parts, 40 years, 40 years, 40 years. Now let's take that and superimpose it to today where life expectancy is what? Maybe 75 years. I chose that number because you can divide it to three. If you divide it to three, then you get 25 years, 25 years, 25 years. It would be akin to saying he spent the first 25 years in the palace living the good life, maybe achieving in school, favored with his parents, everything is going fine. The next 25 years he spent in the wilderness. These are the wilderness years long forgotten years and then the final 25 years akin to someone who's 50 to 75 he did the most important assignment of his life are you 50 and yet you're feeling your life is already over God is not intimidated by your age God can do the most important work in your life through you right now and even if you're over 50 then you qualify you're a candidate for God's help Another story to encourage you is a story of the laborers that Jesus gave that a man was hiring laborers to work in his field and 
every hour he seems to find people and take them in and they worked for him but in the final hour he found a man or a group and he invited them to work in his farm and what is amazing about this story it says that those who worked the final hour were paid the same as those who had labored through the heat of the day god is so gracious he can bring you to a place where you achieve the same as those who've labored for generations for decades for years in that field where you feel god i'm so late i've just come into this i'm so late i can never achieve even half of what people have achieved and instead by god's grace and god's mercy he helps you that you achieve and you are paid and you are rewarded the same as those who have labored in the heat of the day that is goodness and that is mercy i think of the story of elizabeth and zechariah in their old age still serving god waiting for a baby and uh, I have had a baby in my 40s. You tend to be conscious. You're going to the clinic with 20-year-olds, 30-year-olds. And so I know how it's an awkward mixed feeling. And Elizabeth went through that and maybe thinking, my goodness, by the time I'm this age, by the time my child is a teenager, I'll be so old. By the time my child is in their 20s, oh my God, will I be able to see this child graduate and get that job and get married? But look what God does. God makes their child exceptional. Their case was different. John became the prophet who prepared the way for the living God, the Christ, to come to earth. It doesn't get more special than that. And yet she may have thought, oh, I wonder if he's going to be a lawyer <laughs> i wonder if he's gonna be able to do medicine i wonder whether i'll have the energy or she didn't need her energy god knew the anointing and the grace he had put on that child and i just say god where i've been late god where i'm starting late please help me please help me propel me beyond what my ability can do propel me beyond what accumulation of years could do please consolidate my gains for me help me to achieve what you've created me to achieve so if you're feeling is it too late for you no it's not too late as long as the dream is still in your heart and the holy spirit has kept that desire alive dare to trust him dare to pursue dare to step out you cannot know how it will be if you never step out look at me i've begun a youtube channel i'm in my 40s majority of the youtubers in this country are in their 20s they're doing an amazing job i follow a number of them and i felt intimidated to be honest but then you just do your thing your grace your calling everything will fall in place for you according to god's purpose and plan i hope you're encouraged i hope you're able to step out don't disqualify yourself don't write yourself off god has not written you off as long as you're still here he has amazing things he still wants to do so step out and let god use you to do mighty things for your generation. I love you so much for watching. Thank you. God bless you. See you next week.